Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Samsul Islam. Welcome you all to enjoy our regular sports show, Sports Talk with Samsul Islam. And today we will discuss on cricket culture and enthusiasm in subcontinent. You know, cricket is almost a religion here in Indian subcontinent. And this is one of the most popular games towards the mass people. So we love cricket, we eat cricket, we drink cricket, and of course, we are living with cricket these days. Uh, and for this topic, we have had some wonderful guests from home and abroad. First, we would like to meet with them. In the screen top of right corner, we have Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi, the pioneer of Hindi commentary from India. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Namaskar. Good afternoon. Salam alaikum. Walikum assalam. And next, uh, in the bottom of the left corner, very lovely young looking faces, Mr. Alpha Juddin Ahmed, one of the senior commentators from Bangladesh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Samsul. And it's very, very big opportunity for all of us to have Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi with us in the same screen. So <laughs> I think the listeners, the viewers are also very lucky. And we will <clears throat> be learning a lot of things from him. We will be listening a lot of history, very sweet history, very sweet memories from Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi. I hope so. Surely, we all hope so. And uh, at the end, but not the least, Mr. Nikhil Ranjan Das, who is uh, actually an engineer, a very prominent senior sports commentator from Bangladesh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dr. Chaturvedi, and good afternoon, Al Pass. It's a, good it's a, it's a, everybody. Good afternoon. Only my objection is that uh, I am the senior most, but I am also the youngest. He, but he said, Mr. Rajin, the youngest. So I am also young. I never yeah, say yeah. I am old. I say I am a senior citizen. That's all. Uh, that's all. And uh, we hope that Kandakar uh, Salek Sufi from Melbourne, Australia, he will join us as a guest appearance in the middle part of our show today. So let's start the journey. And of course, I used to start with the city of citizen from India, none other than Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi. Sir, so, you know, the today's topic, cricket culture and enthusiasm in subcontinent. Uh, what you will uh, say in your introductory slot regarding cricket culture, what we mean regarding cricket culture in this subcontinent? First of all, uh, <clears throat> let me greet all my colleagues here, Samshul, you particularly, Altaf Bhai, Alfaz Bhai, and then Nas Bhai. This word culture is a very, it has very different connotations. Uh, since the topic of our uh, discussion today is the cricket culture in the subcontinent, this is really a very good topic that has been selected by Samsul Bhai. Samsul Bhai, Alfaz Bhai, and Das Bhai. Let me be very clear about it that this cricket culture which evolved through the language commentaries in this subcontinent, Bangla commentary, Hindi commentary, Urdu commentary, Sinhala commentary, and so on. This was the commentary altogether different from the commentary which has been going on since the commencement of the cricket commentary in 1927 or even earlier in 1922 in Australia. We had a very different role. We were not meant to cater to an elite society, which English commentary was doing. We were catering for a farmer in the field. The word is Khet and Khalyan. We were catering for the man who was farming, who was going to provide food grains, who was going to keep, who was going, going to keep our hunger satiated. We were, our commentary was meant for the industrial worker who was toiling in this, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, factory. 
the language countries in the subcontinent was catering for the masses. This section of the society didn't have many means of enjoyment. So therefore, cricket commentary became the biggest vehicle for enjoyment for them. And the, this became a vehicle for enjoyment to them because the language which we were using was the language of their heart, was the language of their houses. And therefore, not only they enjoyed cricket, they started learning also the cricket. And therefore, the cricket culture about which you are talking is very different from the cricket culture, cricket commentary culture of English. The language commentary of this subcontinent had very different section of the society to which we were catered. And today, my colleagues in other parts of the world who, of subcontinent who may not be hearing me will perhaps will testify to the fact that this language com the language community in different countries in this subcontinent has played a very significant role, a very vital role in reaching the masses of the country, carrying this game to the masses of the country, providing an avenue of entertainment to them. And I think this is the biggest part that this cricket culture has played in this subcontinent. Sorry, it was Sorry, it was unmuted. Thank you, Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi, for your introductory speeches regarding today's topic on cricket culture and enthusiasm here in subcontinent. Now I'm going to Mr. Alfa Juddin Ahmed. Uh, cricket is definitely a very much popular game here in Bangladesh. Of course, uh, before 71, we, uh, we were the part of Pakistan and its names was East Pakistan. So cricket is uh, started here from East Pakistan era, definitely. And we have had a wonderful uh, past, wonderful history behind it. Can you tell us in this part of the world, especially in Bangladesh, how cricket come flourished? I mean, uh, sorry, Shamsul. Thank you, Shamsul. Uh, I would uh, like to first of all uh, recollect this book that Mr. Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi has written. There is a book he has written, Commentary and Commentators. And in that book even, he has written in brief the history of language commentary and he has touched almost all the languages in which commentary is now, the regional commentaries are now being aired. Uh, there are many languages in, in which uh, 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 regional commentary uh, are, are aired or, or in India particularly because they have got so many languages. They speak so many uh, so many languages. But in Bangla in Bangladesh, we have got only one uh, language. So our commentary started from uh, 60s. Now going back to cricket, what I can remember that when I was a school student, I came to Dhaka to see a test match which was being played between West Indies, the mighty West Indies and Pakistan in the uh, Dhaka Bongobundu Stadium. These then the national, yes, that is the book. Look at the book. That is the book. I have got a very, I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate that Dr. Ravi sent a copy of this book to me and I am preserving it. And in that book, the brief history of Bangladesh commentary is also very nicely written. So thanks to Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi for that. Record, it's a recorded thing, even in Bangladesh, none of our um, uh, fellows, or not even me, if you can say, that we have written a book where these things are documented. Now, as I was telling the story of the cricket, uh, uh, that, uh, that how uh, I remember, uh, when I was a school student in the mid-50s, mid I think it's 56 or 55, when the visiting West Indies team was playing a test match against Pakistan in the Dhaka National Stadium, the Bangabundu Stadium now. 
uh, and I came to see that test match here. And I remember uh, I, I saw Jeff Hall, uh, uh, Jeff Hall and Roy Gilchrist in uh, that team. And the I think if I remember correctly, um, uh, Mr. Alexander was the uh, captain of that best team. Who, who was a West Indian, but was a fair guy. He was a wicketkeeper batsman. Uh, Mr. Ravi Chaudhary, Chaudhary, Ravi Chaturvedi, Doctor uh, Doctor Ravi Chaudhary definitely knows better than me because I know West Hall is still alive and he's a very personal friend of Doctor Chaturvedi. So I he will remember it. So I saw that match was being played here in Pakistan team. If I remember correctly. Uh, Nasimul Ghani was playing and he created havoc in the uh, West Indian batting side and for, against those spin spin on those days that ma match was won by uh, Pakistan and uh, then uh, in 1957 I uh, we heard the commentary in Bangla from the voice of uh, Ajoy Bosch from Akashbani Kolkata and uh, say from 1960 onwards I think uh, whenever there was a, a test match uh, played in Eden Gardens, Calcutta, uh, the Bangla commentary was on air and we used to hear to uh, Kamal Bose, uh, Ajay Bose, Kamal Bhattacharya, Pushpen uh, Sarkar and uh, with them uh, we had Premanshu Chatterjee also and even later on Mr. Raju Mukherjee and Sarodundi Mukherjee also uh, joined and they really, they really uh, they had a splendid team and their commentary standard was so good and attractive that in those days we used to bunk our schools, our colleges and get glued to the radio Akashbani to listen to those Bangla commentary. And from there on, we had a very great desire of somehow, I don't know, uh, I know I had, a, I had a small desire that if I could replicate and do something like that. And then in those days we are playing school crickets and then later on we also uh, call it, played college crickets. But as you know, cricket in those days was played on seasonal basis only. In the summer we used to play football. In the winter season, when it came to winter, we used to play cricket. And so the, 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 the tenure of playing cricket lasted for three, four months, not more than that. Because after that, again, summer came, comes and the ra rainy season starts in our country and we do not get a chance uh, to play cricket. And cricket in those days was a sort of expensive game for all of us. <laughs> yes, yes, Dr. Chaturvedi, I, I can see it. I can see that chapter also. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Chaturvedi. Uh, I, I know I, I, you have the, what you have done. So from there, after uh, we, when we are playing, in mid 60s, uh, late 60s, I would say, in 68, 69, we used to hear the voice of uh, Chaudhary, Abdul Hamid in the year. Uh, and they were started this commentary. And prior to that, Mr. Hamid was doing some resume uh, when some test matches were, uh, was being played in uh, um, in East Pakistan, these in Pakistan. And in those days, we used to listen to English commentary of Mr. Omar Qureshi and Jamshed Markari. Uh, I think Mr. Ravi Chaturbedi knows them is still better. But later on, uh, uh, Chishti Mujahid and many others also uh, uh, impressed with their uh, commentary in English from Pakistan. And after liberation, as you know, uh, Shamsul better than me, that uh, when I, MCC team, came, team, team visited us in 1974-75, uh, uh, a match was played in Rashtrahi also. And in that match, our, our performance was good. And then there was some recommendation uh, for including uh, us to be uh, become an associate member and then we become the associate member and uh, by then we had the cricketing structures in uh, at least Bangladesh. Uh, cricket was being played very, very popularly and then you know in, in, in a carry picker he came, the one day cricket came in, the World Cup also came, came in and then uh, we, we used to, we are lucky to see those uh, World Cup matches also in the TV then color TV had already come. So every every other year, there were some attractions and we used to get more attracted and attracted to cricket and cricket commentary. And you know, these commentaries or uh, commentators in those days, if I remember, Richie Beno was a great com commentator in those days from Australia. Greg Chappell was also doing very good in uh, from Australia and uh, from India. Narasthampuri was there. 
Mr. Ravi Chaturvedi's voice was regularly heard by us in Hindi. So we were, you know, somehow uh, mesmerized. We were hypnotized. That what is happening everywhere? So we tried to replicate these things. And, you know, Nikhilda came before me. Bodhuludha Chaudhary was in uh, in Chittagong. He was in, 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 in he, he was a journalist and he was the pioneer in your, you know in Bangladesh commentary. He started with Hamid Bhai, Taufik Aziz Khan, and those guys. And in 1968, after that, he was also he was a very young man at that time. I know, and he used to be uh, with them uh, all the time. And one day he got an opportunity to sit by the side of uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bodhuludha Chaudhary, and then he started. Uh, talking on the microphone as a commentator and that is the start and still now he is going on so you know he is more senior than me even uh, then uh, i had also an opportunity to 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 be a partner we too had the opportunity to cover the world cup cricket in india in 2021 and we visited almost all the venues in india during that time we were very lucky so you know the cricket culture you know, it, it started from there, and uh, by now we have uh, we have gained just a status. Uh, we have got a strong uh, o ODI team in the last World Cup. Also, our performance was excellent, and even uh, uh, we are we are at least uh, aiming to uh, do still more better or even become champion in 2023 ODI uh, format. So a lot of things are now happening, and we uh, by now have got a national stadium also. The, the facilities have, have improved, but uh, uh, but uh, still, you know, as we always uh, go on talking with you in different aspects, that being a full member of ICC and getting test status and our uh, women team also doing so good, being the Asian champion also. So uh, we are also under 19 World Cup champions. So considering all those things, the infrastructure in Bangladesh has not developed as per our expectations. So we will, we will we yeah. will listen from you regarding these issues later part in the interview okay. slot. Uh, thank you very much for your street based introductions. Thank you very much. Now I'm going towards uh, Nikhil Ranjan Dash. He had a wonderful memory. He had a vastly experienced uh, campaigner as a commentator, as as well as an organizer too from Chittagong. He used to organizing cricket over there and contributed in the national level later part. Anyway, Nikhilda, can you hear me? Yes. So, <coughs> yes, yes. Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi already mentioned the importance of commentary to popularize the game of cricket here in this subcontinent. Alphaz Bhai also mentioned regarding our history, how cricket become popular and uh, and flourished here in this subcontinent, especially in Bangladesh. Apart uh, from these things, can you describe regarding people love cricket, why and how in this particular subcontinent? So, Alphaz has, co has covered the entire cricketing background of this country, except one thing, in 1954-55, Cricket in Bangladesh or did then is Pakistan started from Chittagong. Uh, Indian team led by Vinu Vankat came to Chittagong and Gulam, Gulam Ahmed was the vice captain. And as far as I remember, Madhav Mantri was there, Pankaj Rai, Dattu Fatkar, uh, Shubhash Gupte, uh, all were there. So that was the start of cricket in, the, in this part of the country that is the then is Pakistan. After that, also Alpha has mentioned about the visit of West Indies team. And I, if I remember the score correctly, uh, West Indies were all out for 76. And Pakistan was at the start 18 for no loss. Then Wesley Hall came in. And in no time, they were 22 for 5. So that was the start of cricket. We started, we used to hear at that time uh, from uh, Jamshed Markar and uh, Omar Qureshi from Pakistan. Sydney Friskin, Pearson Surita, Beri Sharwadikari from India, and at the same time in Bangla, Ushpen Sharkar, Kamal Bhattacharya, uh, all uh, like all these all these great people. And after that, uh, during 1960s, uh, cricket in Bangladesh, Didan East Pakistan, just took their uh, took a hold and leaving aside 
the football, which was a very popular sports in Bangladesh. In 1967, uh, as far as I remember, 67, 68, uh, Bangla commentary in, in Bangla, in East Pakistan started. We used to get a chunk of 10 minutes, 10 minutes for review of the matches when there was a break. And at that time, Badruluda Choudhury, uh, late Nuru Sen from Chittagong, they used to co uh, cover from Chittagong and Abdul Hamid, Mam Musa, they used to cover from Dhaka and other stations. So I came by, uh, to Radius Radio in 1968, six, late 68, uh, in one one football match between uh, in, uh, in Chittagong. And after that, from 1972, I started from Dhaka, both in radio and television. Apart from that, that cricketing culture uh, in Bangladesh it has got, it had its root in Chittagong since 1954. We had been playing school cricket. We had been playing inter-university. We had been playing inter-college. And like that, it developed gradually till we came as Alpha's mentioned. Yeah, we were recognized as a uh, ICC associate member. We had uh, some, some great players we had at that time. And um, one thing I must mention here, Abdul Hafiz Kardar, the then president, the then captain of Pakistan team, was serving in Chittagong at that time during 1954. He was supposed to lead the East Pakistan 11, but he was called up to have the captaincy of Pakistan team itself, and uh, he, he had to fly back to uh, Lahore. So we had other captains. In spite of that, cricket in this part, though football was the dominating part, gradually took his hold. And Bangla commentary, in uh, in Bangladesh or in the then East Pakistan, as far as I remember, it started in 1964. And as Alphas mentioned, Badruda Choudhury, Hamid Bhai, they were the pioneers. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for, uh, for this uh, point right now. I again, I will back you again, and uh, we will discuss our today's topic gradually, one by one. So now I'm giving you the floor to Dr. Ravi Chetravaidi, sir. Uh, popularity definitely helps it to make popular to the people. And uh, India, they have won the 1983 World Cup. Certainly soon after cricket become more popular than any other games. For your kind information for the audiences as well, Indian national sports is Hockey. Bangladesh's national sports is Kabaddi. Pakistan national sports hockey and Sri Lanka national sports volleyball. Still in this subcontinent, cricket is more popular today. Definitely. Can you tell us how I'm especially asking you the rivalry of India-Pakistan, which is greatly missing these days due to some unwanted reasons, isn't it? I did not get, get your question. India and Pakistan rivalry is yeah. greatly misses these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you uh, tell us regarding this? Yeah, well, uh, there are two parts of this question. Uh, the one is the, the match which goes on on the ground. The other is outside the ground, which is the commentary box. I'll tell you a very interesting story. I mean, uh, I, I still have very good friends like Chisti Mujahid and uh, Iftikhar, the pioneers, and I had a good time once with uh, Marco Rashid Uh Chisti and myself, even now, we are on good terms and I mean, exchange uh, through letters and through uh, email. And uh, we pull each other's leg very often. Uh, whatever goes on in the ground is altogether different. In Bombay, 79, after a long hiatus of about two decades, uh, more than a decade and a half, the cricket uh, uh, relationship between India and Pakistan were revived. So this was a match at one Kade Stadium in Bombay. Since uh, these stadiums, when they were built, the provision for television was not there because television didn't, uh, was not part of the cricket coverage. 
So they had a radio box. So in Vankhede Stadium, front row was given to us. So on one side, the Pakistani commentators were there. On the other side, the Indian commentators. In between was a scorer and statistician, <laughs> the great BB Mama. This means whenever somebody wanted a statistician, Mama's book will go from left to right, right to left. Once I needed this Mama's book, and I asked twice, Mama, where is it? I wanted some information. So I said, Mama, I want this. And he every time will do like this. So third time I asked him, what is this? Again, he did like this. During lunch interval, I told Chishti Mujahid, I said, 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 after the opening ceremony, there was a reception by the board in the Grand, the Great Hotel of Calcutta. So the, all the Pakistani commentators were there, and I was also there. I was somewhat late because I had to tell something to the media. And by the time I reached the lounge, I found my Pakistani friends with their drinks wrapped up in not one tissue, but two or three tissues. So when I went there, I looked at all of them and I said, hey, bhai, what is all this? He said, nahi, nahi, yaar, nahi, nahi. And they were not keeping the glasses like this. They were keeping it like this. So I said, yaar, kya ho raha? So I <laughs> took his uh, glass and took and tore off this uh, tissue paper. He said, hey, Pandit ji, kya kare, kya kare? I said, yaar, tum aurton ko to parda karate ho, sharaab ka ko na karate ho, sharaab ko to gholi raha hai na, kam se kam. So, so all these... We always enjoyed in the coffee walks with one another. So whenever I'll say something, the Christy will say, Pandit hai, Professor bhi hai, kya kare ho jai, uske maani patti hai, to class mein abhi hai, phil lecture se ho pat dega. So we had great time that way. So, <clears throat> you know what is happening is, uh, yes, you have a point. But let me tell you that as a cricket enthusiast, there is a, there are masses, you know, we will go by, if a boundary is hit by the Indian batsman, there will be more clapping. If by, by the Pakistani batsman, maybe not so much. But look, we are all connoisseurs of the game. I mean, I will still today record what a fascinating batsman Zahir Abbas was. I mean, and a prolific scorer. He was not only a, a, a very... Uh, artistic batsman, but he was also a prolific scorer. Never seen a more dogged batsman than Javed Miyadat. If you look at his personality, I know him personally also, because I have been I had been the manager of the many visiting teams in India, including Pakistan. I just want to study the behavior pattern of the players in the dressing room, especially when the things go wrong with them. I will not tell you what all happened. <laughs> but this made me understand cricket inside out. So what I am trying to say is, look, fast bowling of Imran. Look at the Sarfaraz, how nagging he was. Look at Abdul Qadir, leg spinner. I mean, as a connoisseur of the game, you cannot forget. And if I tell you, if you have to see the medium pace bowling, I'm sure many of us would have missed it. I have not missed it. I'm very lucky. 52, when Pakistan came, that was the first overseas series. It was series for Pakistan. Fuzzle was the bowler. The leg cutter which he used reminded me of Alec Betzer. Alec Betzer was a connoisseur of leg cutter. And similarly, our own Amar Singh, who partnered uh, Mahmoud uh, uh, our Mohan de Sarsa. Now, this, these nuances of the game, we had to, I mean, people like us who are connoisseurs of the game, we appreciate whether it's a Pakistani versus a West Indian versus a Indian. I'll tell you sometime, we do not appreciate our players so much. Sir Gary Sobers, as you know, I'm very close to the West Indians. 
in 867 when he came for the world cup uh, to calcutta i am a hindi commentator but i told the uh, doordarshan people that i know the western union well and i know some there so so they said okay to have an interview with him i asked him sir gary you have so many records against you and i am sharing something you which is my very personal opinion which he shared with me last time when i was in west indies with him barbados for he invited me over for a lunch i said sir gary you are the first perfect cricketer world has ever seen he was stunned let me oh prof what are you saying i said you are a amalgamation of so many things in india you will remember we say khichdi so i said you are a batsman you are a medium pace bowler you are behind the wrist spinner you are the finest short leg fielder no no cricketer has so many credentials as you have he told me ravi i never knew that uh, that the, i could be so uh, component the so many components are within me so look i mean we as a commentator may be commentating on our team but when it comes to the game the nuances of the game we have to be and describe it whether it's for our own player or it's from a visiting team player so somewhere we have to be neutral let me also tell you those were difficult times when we were commenting because it was a new era but i am sure why i am looks like i was listening to jonal at aapne ek naam khud bhi aap log ke jonal he is the he is the connoisseur और अगर आप मुझसे पूछे तो मैं आपको अगले दो नाम जिन लोगों ने कॉमेंट्री दो दोस्त पीपल स्टार्टेड द क्रिकेट कॉमेंट्री इन इंग्लैंड द जेंटलमैन गिलेगम फ्रैंक गिलेगम ही वाज ए फादर इन द चर्च एंड देन इट इज अबाउट हिम दिस इज सेड दैट संडे प्रेयर्स द चर्च यूज्ड टू बी वर्क क्राउडेड पीपल वर आउटसाइड जेंटलमैन लेट मी आल्सो शेयर सम टाइम दिस सोरोस यू आल्सो वुड हैव शेयर्ड आई हैव आल्सो शेयर्ड you know what happened during a test match against australia during those days it was not a continuous commentary it would be commentary for a while then london uh, music orchestra will come in and they will play music and when cricket becomes interesting again the commentary will start so when the rain started frank gilligams described the 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 hoardings you know lord reith who was director general of bbc he took action against him and he was ostracized from the country box at times we people have also suffered that because to tell the truth sometimes you have to face the music which a very pioneer commentator like frank telegram did me and tell you he was not only a church father he was a player who played for essex if you go into my book you'll find even he is padding up on all that so that is how at times we have also suffered the commentary particularly the language commentary commentators have suffered a more because we had to evolve a terminology technology and also the language it was the other big challenge was whether the commentary will be accepted or not the other fact whether it will not be mocked the acceptability i my my i salute not only the three gentlemen who are in front of me those who are not in front of us they had played a very vital role pivotal role in establishing the language communities let us remember them today we would have not been sitting here today to discuss the culture of cricket in this subcontinent if those pioneers were not there and they had not established the uh, the country which all of us have been inherited inherited particularly three colleagues of mine who are on the screen today so it was a very big challenge and we are lucky i was of course that part of that team also so i can tell you the pain and anguish at times we had gone aur main aapko ek baat batana chahta hu i'm sure that has happened with you also 
sometimes official interference nikilda hmm. mai jo baat kar raha hu please suniye aap dhyan se ata bhai you also i am sure you would have also suffered now at times the official they push in commentators is good you come to the commentary box and to that but what you talk is more important you will be surprised to know lots a hindi commentator says full toss gain tippa kha ke aayi half volley bana ke square cut kar diya sir dikhe ratna ke told me that the great wg grace must be turning in his grave when he heard this and do you know what happened again in indian subcontinent the second generation ek naam aap logo ne nahi liya bobby talyar khan he was the first commentator in the entire subcontinent and after bobby talyar khan the next generation which comes as dikhe ratna agar who is also one of the great commentator but because he told all india radio that such commentator should not be there that he was blacklisted but if you go to west indies ask about dikhe ratna agar how and i am sure nikilda altaf bhai alfaz bhai aap you people who would have also seen this thing which i am telling you today thank you thank you very much sir for your nice comments i hope uh, the india pakistan rivalry will be established again in absence of this these days in this subcontinent bangladesh and india become another rivalry team in the ground actually though most of the time results uh, came in favor of india since they are more strong and their infrastructure is more stronger than bangladesh anyway we have a guest uh, from melbourne australia none other than khandakar salik sufi i will take him in the show for a little while uh, but i want to acknowledge our audiences as well in this time noiman hak uday also join us from the very beginning he told us bcb uh, world at best production company gulo ke production rights dai na keno alpha sir ke alpha sir er kache question ashole ei bishoy ni amra ajke kotha bolchi na ashraful islam badan welcome mr ravi apnake uh, uh, welcome you Hamid Jaman, he is uh, uh, with us. Imad Musa, he commented that uh, when our cricket did not improve, our commentary was improved. Commentators give a lot of beautiful commentary on the radio that day. So these gentlemen doing the same thing from the very beginning, and of course all these three guys. Later, uh, I join in this uh, grand party. Jesse Muddin, Assalamu Alaikum, sir. Mujahidur Rahman, one of our junior friends, who is also a commentator, told us excellent episode. Sheikh Rul Amin, tell us good going. Mr. Imad Musa, on behalf of our cricket fans, best wishes to Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi. Khaled Ahmed, old, old is gold, all memorable commentators. This was his comments. H. Shibu also joined us and uh, he wrote, স্যার আপনাদের আলোচনা দেখি এবং শুনে নিয়মিত অনেক অজানা তথ্য জানি আপনাদের মাধ্যমে বেশ ভালোই লাগে কমেন্ট্রি আমার প্রিয় একটা জিনিস এনজয় করি খুব এই পেশায় নিজেকে আত্মপ্রকাশ করার চেষ্টা করছি ভেরি নাইস থ্যাংক ইউ শিবু কাম অ্যান্ড জয়েন উইথ আস ইন দ্য কামিং ডেজ স্যার বাংলা ধারাভাষ্য বাংলায় আলোচনা হলে ভালো হতো ইনফ্যাক্ট টুডে আওয়ার গেস্ট ফ্রম ইন্ডিয়া ডক্টর রবি চতুর্বেদী সিন্স হি ইজ নট ইউজড উইথ বাঙাল বাংলা so we tried to talk no i mean i mean bhalo kore bolte pari na thank you thank you <laughs> rajan shubho one of our junior friends he told it during football season session cricket is just colorless football is the main game that can spread excitement please try to develop bangladesh football team cricket is the game for those who cannot play football we can't agree with rajan shubho no Cricket is another game. Football is definitely a popular game throughout the world, but cricket has its own test, which is really testy. Shahjadpur, Shirajgonj, take a look at Al Maktoum Farid. Sahel Rana, I got, uh, we got your message. Momin Ali, I always respect Alpha Juddin Ahmed. Congrats, Ramsul Islam, why? SM Shibu, why Kabadi is the national game of Bangladesh? It cannot be changed to cricket or football. 
Polash Khan, our on, uh, uh, another commentator friend, uh, telling us good going. Momin Ali, I want to see respectfully Sharafat sir join this program. Uh, we will try to connect him in future. Mehdi Hassan, I am very glad to join the meaningful discussion. I know a lot of information about various sports of our subcontinent. I am very thankful to my loved person, Samsul Islam, who has arranged as a good discussion platform. May Allah keep them safe. Thank you for your nice wishes. Mahmoud Lassan Mamun, finally, Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi is with us now. Thank you so much for your courageous speech. Thanks again. Please share this live show for your friends and family. Now I'm inviting Khandakar Salek Sufi to join us. Sufi bhai, how are you from Melbourne? Thank you very, very, thank you very much. I was in fact listening with rapt attention what these doyans of uh, cricket commentary or sports commentary were alluding to. And as if I know Rabi the uh, G, I was listening uh, as if I was listening his commentary. You know, from early 60s, I uh, have started eating, drinking and dreaming cricket. And <laughs> whatever cricket I have played, I owe a lot to a gentleman, Indian gentleman called Aziz Durani. He was father of Selim Durani. He used to tutor us in the Pakistan days. The gentleman and the cricketers that you were mentioning from West Indies, uh, Pakistan or India at that time, I had opportunity to write on most of them because I started writing on cricket uh, for a long time. Unfortunately, I'm sharing something uh, about my experience. It, during Pakistan days, there was a magazine called Sport Times. Maybe uh, Robida, uh, Robiji will be remembering. I had all the copies of that magazine till 1971. And uh, my collection, this rich collection and collection of many books, one of the book was Green Shadow that was written by Abdul Hafiz Kardar. That was about the Pakistan's tour to West Indies when Hanif Muhammad scored 337 and Gary Sobers scored 365. All these collections were with me when in 71 in our house in Khulna, uh, you know, when the Pakistan army cracked down, this, all these uh, books were lost. This is a great shock for me. About the culture of cricket and uh, uh, the subcontinent. This uh, today I was in a, a program in Melbourne. This was on the refugees on the World Refugee Day, and I was asked to talk. There were many uh, journalists there. When then, and unfortunately, I had my cricket blazer on. Some Kiwis asked me, "What happened? India lost. We have lost many times. Why there is so much of noise there?" You know, the, uh, New Zealand has won, you know, maybe they will be invited by the prime minister. That's all. They, uh, some flowers will be thrown to them. I said that, you know, very well, cricket is the second religion in those countries. Uh, one of the culture you must have seen from the movie called Lagan. Most of you have seen what Lagan. happened in Lag Lagan. Lagan of Amir Khan. Yeah. Yeah, this was Amir on Khan. cricket. Yeah, this was Amir on cricket. Khan. Then I explained to them, you see, you know, it, win or loss doesn't matter. It's part of the game. But one culture in our subcontinent is still to grow to take the defeat as easily as we take our win. This is one culture, uh, you know, that has to grow. And the second thing I said, OK, you are from Melbourne. Didn't you see in 2015? Uh, is it 2015? Alphas by the World Cup was World held? Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2000. World Cup 2015. When all the matches were held in Melbourne, did you see when Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka played in MCG? You saw the culture. Other than playing cricket, people came in colors, people came in music, they were dancing and, uh, you know, um, uh, and they were enjoying. This, were, this is the culture in, in the subcontinent. We not only play cricket, we enjoy cricket. We have made it a part of life. At that time, you know, I used to have a lot of interaction with uh, Cricket Australia uh, CEO. And he had a plan. He was almost thinking that whether bringing Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and India, whether there can be uh, after every three, four years, there can be uh, uh, ODI uh, competition in Melbourne. Because, you know, when this team come to play in Australia, I can guarantee you, 
the stadium is full of color and music but anyway the culture to take about the culture talk about the culture we uh, the subcontinent has got very rich culture uh, and that culture has been partly affected from pakistan and india and not playing cricket between each other because after a, after a long time you know robida will bear me out when pakistan visited india uh, uh, and then again um, uh, india went to pakistan at that time india um, cricket was dominated by the four spinners and as robida has correctly pointed out this spinners uh, lost their uh, bite when zahir abbas batsman like zahir abbas and javed mianda they scored uh, prolif uh, they are prolific scorers and imran khan and others they were terrific bowlers and uh, india has uh, uh, actually lost so uh, this tradition you know if india bangla uh, pakistan cricket tradition doesn't return then the cricket you know yeah, both the countries will suffer they will never catch up with uh, australia you know maybe they will be winning some matches here and there but they can never consistently win against them i will conclude with one more comments i had a bitter experience and uh, nikhilda will bear me out i was at that time i was uh, um, um, short of liaz officer of pakistan cricket team when that sad sad incident happened in chitagong in a match there uh, you know uh, there was a big trouble and the match was suspended majid jahangir khan was leading that team uh, to bangladesh and asif stayed back asif iqbal was the original captain they hopped to bangladesh uh, during a visit to india you know that incident happened and <laughs> at that time i was watching the game from, from the vip lounge along with imran khan imran didn't play but when the trouble started uh, you know <laughs> our cricket team and our cricket organizers told me to go and talk to majid khan because nobody wanted to talk to majid khan after that incident we uh, you know in um, um, our, our sports magazine kriya jagat and sport times i wrote cricket crucified and in bangla i wrote kruse biddo cricket actually that was a big shock if that didn't happen at that time bangladesh cricket uh, could have got uh, international recognition much earlier but i i don't have uh, much opportunity to talk here I, it's a great opportunity that i had been uh, i have given opportunity to these living legends i will rather conclude uh, telling that bangladesh cricket could not prosper the way it should have prospered because we did not follow the indian format the in, uh, the way india plays their cricket they have got a fantastic format this is not only ipl you know indian ranji trophy dilip trophy regional trophy office trophy there is no reason 170 million people of bangladesh cannot produce a consistent test team or uh, uh, get uh, better in other formats i hope india bangladesh will come closer bangladesh will take lot of lessons from india if necessary you know teams other and teams and like our cricket culture in the coming days yeah that so, will that thank will you, thank and you, also, thank and you, and also there will be interchange of commentators like alpha zai <laughs> and nikhilda can go <laughs> and do commentary robida can come to bangladesh this can should be done i i, I was to come i was to come but because this could of... be only dream for all of us anyway let's hope for the best thank you for thank joining you. us kandakar salak sufi and uh, for your valuable speech uh, with this uh, minimum participation thank you again now i am going to alpha juddin ahmed lot of waiting for you anyway you love to talk we all know you must uh, raise those areas already covered few areas now i am uh, requesting you to touch these areas t20s flourish ipl introduces in india bpl introduces in bangladesh cricket become uh, a new popularity and uh, reaches towards more people through television broadcasting radio broadcasting but our players sometimes forget that cricket is a game of gentlemen and we can't take the defeat easily so still we are well behind from the strong cricket culture okay santosh thank you very much thank you very much uh, can you all listen to me hear me yeah oh yeah carry on carry on we are listening okay okay i will again uh, like to tell my viewers that well uh, i was 
listening spellbound. I was getting to know many unknown things from these legions. You know, in front of us, Nikhilda is there. Even Nikhilda is coming up with stories that he didn't tell me before also. Today he uh, <laughs> broke, up, broke up in with some new information, which is very surprising for me. And I always expected that in this subcontinent, the living legend is Dr. Ravi. So we will uh, learn all backgrounds and everything from him. There are a lot of things that uh, uh, we can, he can talk about for hours together. And I, I know my, our time is very limited. But why, uh, what I would like to tell that uh, it's a great opportunity for the viewers, the new uh, aspiring commentators. I know a lot of uh, uh, new commentators, young commentators are coming up in Bangladesh now. And they are, uh, must be connected with us and listening to us. I tell you, it's a great, great, great honor and opportunity. You have a very rare opportunity to listen to Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi and see him directly on this screen. That is one thing. The second thing I would like to say, uh, I have a question also to Dr. Ravi that, that I will tell uh, last. But before that, I would like to tell that, yes, the subcontinent dwellers have a character or not of not accepting defeat easily. It is not only Bangladeshis, it is Indians yeah. also, and it is more in India, Pakistan also. When yeah. Indian captain lose matches, the Indian people come up with placard, don't come back home. Dhoni's house residence was st stormed, I mean, with stones. So, so this happens in Bangladesh also. The sentiment is like that. But that can be transformed into a spirit also. I think that is what a kind of jid. And that's how we, we commit that next time we'll win this trophy. We'll win this thing. You, you see that there are many cricket playing, in, there are, we have not made it, uh, ten or uh, nine or ten test playing nations now, okay, in the front line. Cricket started in England and Australia. Then it spread to South Africa and went to uh, West Indies. For a very long time, it was there. Then India, Pakistan came. After the uh, British came into ruling uh, uh, India, Pakistan subcontinent, and we started playing, our, our forefathers started playing cricket here. And then the two countries very quickly, uh, part, uh, they had a partition, East Pakistan and India, and the two separate teams were then grown. And then the uh, actual culture of uh, cricket started. But very quickly, you, I, I must say that these subcontinent small countries like India, Pakistan and even Sri Lanka became the world ODI champions. They became champion before England became champion. They became champion before New Zealand became champion. So it's a great pride that proves that we have the quality and the jit to play cricket nicely, properly and win matches. That is a very good spirit that we need to have within our, ourselves. But such it's true that we should not take with us the bad things. We should not misbehave. The very gentleman's games is getting colored now. It is getting a, a, a blemish, uh, blemish picture now. So we must avoid and we must protect everything, every bad thing that is coming towards cricket from that. So that should be our commitment. And uh, I, I would also like to tell, as Salek Sufi was telling, that look at India. They have developed that cricketing structure. The, 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 the facilities, the stadiums, the pitches, and then they have got the cricketing, uh, I mean, structure, domestic structure. They have got so many four-day, five-day uh, tournaments. Like he said, the Ranji Trophy, the Dulip Trophy, there are many, many more uh, tournaments that are played. And then also they have BPL, and they have now, by now, I think two or three equally st strong teams. And they can, uh, who can represent India at the same time, like the... Right now, a team was playing in uh, England against New Zealand, and a team is going to uh, for a new team is going to Sri Lanka for playing the other series. All new players there, so they are now very rich because they have got a big supply and they have managed to do it. Now we should learn those new things, good things from India. We should be more, we should be more cooperative. We should be more exchanging experiences, exchanging, exchanging experts. Like, like I would like to propose to Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi also. Like when, when there's the English commentary to, to make the commentary rich, to make the commentary box more colorful, we have, we are now, we are seeing that the 
mixture of commentators from different countries are there. When the two countries are pl playing, at least two and two, four commentators are, must be from the two countries which are playing. And two and two, four other commentators from also are coming into the same commentary box because they all speak English. They are sitting together and doing the commentary in English. Similarly, if West Bengal's language and Bangladesh language is same, why not Bangladesh commentators go to West Bengal and share the commentary box with the West Bengal commentators? And I also similarly ask the West Bengal commentators to come to our country or the organizers to uh, um, uh, invite the West Bengal commentators here and share the commentary box with us. We can start that thing at least. So I don't think uh, we'll there is any cricket culture in this subcontinent. It yes, will enhance our cricket culture. Again. Yes, it will enhance our cricket culture. And the last question that I wanted to ask to Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi is, look, there are so many new aspirant commentators there coming up. Now, these boys are, uh, to me, uh, I don't know how to how to tell it because I will be unpopular then. I know you rather tell me what should be the requirement of a of a of a uh, commentator. How how much he should be matured? How much no, how much knowledge he should have? How much uh, cricketing and educational background he should have? And then sit in front of the uh, microphone. Then he can flourish and they can he can take take his career uh, um, ahead. Otherwise, I, I think lot of uh, a lot of uh, they have got lot of aspiration. That's true. But they are not backed up with enough education, not backed up with enough, enough uh, experience. And they are uh, even by now, uh, there is infiltration, I tell you. Our, our, our seniors, like Hamid Bhai or Badul Huda Bhai of, in India, Ajay Bosch, Kamal Bhattacharya, Pushman Sarkar, the kind of language, uh, the, the kind, the beauty in Bangla language they established was wonderful and it was flourishing for a very long time but nice. nowadays in bangladesh it has become a style to mix too many english words or to speak short english sentences even in the bangla commentary and uh, feel that it's a very good quality commentary i don't know i will I want to know what is the uh, what's the status in india are the hindi commentators young commentators are also doing the same thing they are uh, adding small small sentences sentences in their commentary like uh, dancing down the wicket lofted shot and that's a sixer it's in bangla commentary they're telling so it's i think this can be avoided a bangla commentary should be bangla should be spoken as much as possible and when there is no avoidable bangla substitute word okay, for I, a word I, English, point, I will someone should be so that's my question to mr ravi okay, okay. So I, I, I really I don't want to destroy. I don't want that the culture that our our um, seniors have set and uh, brought this Bangla commentary to at this level. Somebody was already commenting that when our cricket was not developed, our commentary was so developed. So it's very important. And, and then uh, the, so 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 I I, I request Mr. Ravi first thing to throw some light on that point. Also. Thank you very much, Samsur, and thank you once again for arranging such kind of a discussion. Where well, we are, um, even myself is uh, learning so, so many things. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome, always. And uh, rightly so, that was a great acknowledgement from the audiences that when our cricket was not so strong in this uh, area from Bangladesh, but our commentary was so rich with these stalwarts like uh, Abdul Hamid, Muhammad Shah Jahan, Taufik Ajit Khan, Khada Baksmitha, Manjur Hassan, Mintu, and other fellows. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, uh, Nikhil Ranjan Das. Nikhil, can you, uh, I'm giving you some clues. Cricket culture is really, and enthusiasm is very rich here in Bangladesh and of course in the subcontinent, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka as well. We have female teams. We have a physically challenged cricket team, wheelchair cricket team, blind cricket team as well. So cricket all together flourished in many ways. Uh, we have introduced this franchise T20 tournaments, which got much popularity and also earning some revenues for the players and for the boards. A uh, lot of, uh, lot of companies come forward to patronize cricket. Sponsorship is much more available these days for cricket. Cricket broadcasting is enhancing day by day. All together, 
our cricket culture and of course enthusiasm enriching much again we are still behind in the format of test cricket i'm talking about bangladesh again we failed to cope up the rhythm of t20 cricket we are a little bit better in odi format but how we can improve how we can enrich our cricket culture here in bangladesh at the end of this particular show your last slot what you want to add thank you samsul actually i had been listening very uh, intently to what alpha has said uh, cricket in this part as you know as i told you earlier it started in 1954 and thereafter there was a slag slag in in the sense that as uh, we neared the uh, war of independence there was something that bangla commentators who wanted to come in and i remember very uh, vividly in one of the meeting i was present at that time i was working with power development board uh, somehow as i was representing uh, cjkp cricket uh, leagues uh, they called me also one of the officials he candidly asked you want to talk, you want to talk about cricket in bangla do you have bangla language for cricket and budhubhai was present there he told me that yes i can tell you i can go on for 2 hours without you uh, uttering a single english word and i will give you bangla comment i will give you cricket commentary and he did it and uh, one know that what about the field placing even the field placing is a field placing there is no bengali substitute for a field placing there is no bengali substitute for fine leg there is no bengali substitute for square leg there is no bengali substitute for gully and these things you shall have to accept and with this uh, if you can mix up your language whole language with this very very tactfully you can go on telling manga telling giving commentary bangla for hours another thing the cricket culture in bangladesh cricket culture in bangladesh as i told you earlier we used to play school cricket we used to play inter college we used to play inter district we used to play inter division we used to play inter university in india you see they have got subrata mukherji uh cricket cricket they have got roji trophy they have got bardulai trophy they have got other, other matches they have got all this that means you will have to develop it in stages you can't uh, tell a player that you come and join this comment uh, join this coaching camp and you you come and play test cricket no you cannot do it in if you want to do it you will have to go step by step as is being done in india and during with during pakistan time we as as i fully remember that at that match you told uh, regarding this uh, saleh hush saleh shufi was mentioning i was present in the ground and i know what happened what is the background let us not bring it back i don't want to bring that back to the cricket ground again i was a as a cjkp official i was present on the ground and i know what happened let us forget about it that was a mess up this happened let us forget about it and that that will, that will be the best thing regarding our culture in cricket at present unless you can give a security to the players security means i mean financial security football has somehow being placed at that level that football players are getting a financial security some business houses are coming up some business houses are coming up and our cricket control board will have to leave these uh, business houses to come and have your team we had been playing in, in when i was working with power development board we had been playing inter office power development board customs port railway navy even police we had these teams and we were playing between ourselves so this unless you can de uh, develop this fraternity it will be very difficult to sustain cricket culture in this country because what i want that my son will grow up some day he will some earn some earn something and other things no if he plays cricket i have got no objection but th that cricket will have to give him substantially so that he can hold his back so, so this is this is this is about corporate cricket culture 
Yes, this is this is have some this, financial security. Yes, you come to Chirang Stadium, you will find uh, you you know you know that the two commentary boxes on two sides has those has been built by two business houses. We were able to deal Spani and we were able to deal another company. You give us this. The watering system in Chirang Stadium is being looked after by one of one of the companies. So you will have to bring them also. Previously, uh, we used to hear that uh, Maharaja of uh, some place, Maharaja of this place, they are uh, patronizing these things. Why our business house cannot come and patronize cricket in this country? In India also, they are doing it. But why we cannot do it? We shall have to do it. Otherwise, we cannot. We cannot at this stage just leave it to the clubs and organizers to bring uh, to uh, bring uh, cricket to great repute. I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I feel very bad when I talk about all these things because I have seen cricket from day one in this country. Thank you. Thank in 1954 you December. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nikhil Ranjan Das. Somehow we have to conclude the program. Anyway, I will again, uh, I will turn each of you for, uh, for one more time. Alphazbai, I will come you. Right now, you want to talk? I, I will I just, I'll take one minute. I, I will take just one minute. I, I just saw a, a question. I just saw a comment. Somebody is telling that uh, when football season is on, cricket is colorless. Why not play cricket more, football more and encourage this thing? He was telling something like that. To his uh, question, I, I would like to answer that it is only in cricket. There is a probability that Bangladesh will win the World Cup. Bangladesh under 19 has already won the World yes. Cup once. Our ladies team has already won the Asian Championship once. But I can tell you in the coming 50 years also, the way our football is going, it will never reach the Asian standard. So going to the uh, World Cup standard is a dream. Even India has now fixed a target of reaching the Asian standard. They want to be in the top five in the Asian teams. Let us see how, what they can do and we can see what kind of infrastructure they have already made. They are paying IFA, they are paying India League and they are playing with a lot of international standard footballers. And then again, the football level is improving. I don't say it is not improving, it is improving very gradually. Even Bangladesh can beat India now. So, okay. so it's, it's a futile effort, I think. I think more focus should be given on cricket right now. Because we have had a wonderful opportunity or chances to grab and the our, neighbor, our, neighbor, our, neighbor, our neighboring countries have already won the World Cup. We are part of them. We have inherited the same blood, the same culture and this same... This is our culture. turn. So we can do it. So this is our turn. India, Pakistan yeah. and Sri yeah, Lanka yeah. already won the World Cup title. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi Sarji, Alphaj Bhai want to uh, ask you a question. I will go with that. But before that, I want to ask you and mentioning to our audiences as well, our today's topic was cricket culture and enthusiasm in subcontinent. But these three gentlemen, including me, we all are commentators. We somehow linked our today's topic with commentary and the influence of commentary, the importance of commentary to how uh, the cricket make it popular or make it uh, reachable to the most people anyhow. Somehow we linked our commentary term. Anyway, we have to come out from that commentary words. Uh, sir, cricket being colored these days, IPL introduces a lot of franchise tournaments coming, and uh, cricket got a lot of money these days. Our other guests, like Nikhilda and Alfred, also mentioned India, they have had a very old cricket culture with some grand first class tournament which we don't have so what is your suggestion how all these four subcontinental countries can uh, reach and going forward together with their strong cricket culture and at the end you will definitely touch the alpha Bhai question how a young commentator should be prepared himself what sorts of qualities should have within themselves Sir, let me unmute. Uh, as a teacher, okay, I'm in a as a teacher, I'm in a classroom. 
bombarded by questions by students from this side and that side. So I'm little flapper bastard. <clears throat> Nikhilda, I'll first you of all join to. you uh, with only one thing, that you represent a city which is known for cricket from the pre-independence days. The cricket in this subcontinent, in the British India, started from Chittagong. There was a match between uh, two army teams, which was one what they called the, the, the Sipahis and the others was the more a mixed team. So therefore, you belong to a very rich city. And today, I think I'm very grateful that I'm able to have the darshan of the gentleman who are from the city, the cricket came to this part of the world in this country. So we are very grateful. And of course, I have enjoyed all your inputs very well. Now, coming back to the culture. <clears throat> so Nikhilda, I'm very glad that I had your darshan. Uh, coming back to the question of culture and before I go to the other things. In the book of mine, if you look at two pictures, very revealing pictures, the last World Cup in stage in India, which India won, there are four photographs. There's a photograph of farmers who had brought their produce, maybe there's either is a potato or is a wheat, to the government depot for the sale. Unfortunately, the depot was closed. So the workers had to live there. At night when the World Cup is going on, these fellows in their bullock cart or in their tractor, they are sleeping, both the two of them. And they have a transistor glued on to their, uh, to their ear, listening to the World Cup commentary. That's number one. Number two, in a blind school in Ahmedabad, the young girls were all glued to the, to the transistor, listening to the World Cup commentary. A taxi man, while he was waiting for a client, he just kept a transistor up to his ear to listen to what come. So this is the extent of a new culture which has emerged. Samshul Bhai, let me tell yes. you when I was growing up in this very continent, what was the culture about sports? In Hindi saying, I'm sure all of you will understand. Padhoge likhoge to hoge nawab. Padhoge likhoge to hoge nawab. I was rebuked by, by, rebuked by my head of department as a student of zoology honors for missing three practical classes in the afternoon for a cricket practice. He straight away told me, you play cricket or you study zoology. I knew it that I cannot become a test cricketer, so let me study zoology, get at least second division. Those days for division was not distributed as it is distributed now so that I can become a teacher in a school or in a college, so that I can earn my bread. So this was the, the situation, the scenario. And look how scenario has changed. Now everybody wants his kid to play cricket. Samsul Bhai? Yeah. Nikhil Bhai, when you were playing cricket, when I was playing cricket, the water which used to come, I played DDC League, I played Delhi University Inter College. The water curl will come in a bucket, which will be torn. There will be uh, there, there will be uh, these um, vessels with which you have to pour water and drink with your hand. At times there was ice. At times there was no ice. But still, we were so much committed to cricket. This was how cricket was evolving. No facilities. So this is where the culture has evolved. There was no money, but the love for the game that kept us going. Even as a commentator, what was the money which you were getting? I don't know in Bangladesh. I was getting <laughs> It is more poor than <laughs> India right now. Maybe <laughs> when we are off air, on all air, I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, this is how it is our love for this game that we are here and we are today, we, all of us are yes. together. Last thing, which before I can come back to the other questions and culture, I was looking forward so eagerly to come forward and I had 
fixed up with the uh, alfaz bhai my meet coming to uh, to bangladesh to dhaka booked my hotel and everything was planned but for this covid and and yes. i was so eagerly looking forward and in fact i will be very eagerly looking forward to the next opportunity where i see this on i could come to uh, dhaka and uh, join all of you that is because bengali is a very rich language bangla is not a language it's a big culture yeah i love bengali i love bengali people also because they embody a culture if you ask me the analysis of bangla language it is the most french it's so soft it flows you know when you cut through butter it just goes on it's not like any other languages of this continent which are so soft as bangla now <clears throat> Coming to the culture part, Samshul Bhai, yes. what is this culture? Good old days when I saw many names which were named by Nikhil Bhai or Alfaz Bhai, Jerry Alexander or Wes Hall or blah blah and so on. Vijay Merchant, I of course I had seen greats like Vijay Merchant and C K Nair and all. Those people, whenever they appeared, they looked at the empire. They never shouted. They just looked, they look at the empire. The empire said, "Not out, or he did like this. They will walk away." Now, right in the middle of the pitch, to you raise your hand, terrorism is not in political. <laughs> terrorism has infiltrated and into cricket also. This is terrorism. You are just, you know, with your fingers like this. Is this gentleman's game? Thank you. That's we mean it. That's we mean it. You, we you raised a very good point. No, you raised the, uh, the, raise a very good question, and that's what. Now, with all the rules, number one, this so much fine, this man uh, rule violation, this much fine. What about these appeals also? You are just uh, try, trying so to. So many code of conduct these days. Sir, yes, sir. Another thing. Me, me, very choti si baat apko keh raha hu. You have a judge. Hmm. Maybe a bench of judges, or maybe a judge. But look at the great game of cricket. They appointed two judges, and those judges were white-robed. What did you do? You robbed them of the robe, exposed them. Hmm? Okay, number one. Then, whenever an empire gave a decision, there is a word in cricket: walker. Walker. Navapatodi, Vishwanath. They were gentlemen. They never looked here, and they never dis. Showed any dis dissension against the Nick, and they walked away. Now everybody shows it. I said they, they are not prepared to go. Now instead of a bench of two, first of all you rob them. Now you don't. At that time you had faith in your judges. Now you have brought devices, electronic devices. Sir, ask me. Are today decision not dubious? Are announced all very fair? What were the World Cup decision last time when the, uh, all this World Cup New Zealand and England were there? There are many questions were there raised about it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Technology, technology has not solved your problem. So why don't you have faith in those two white gentlemen who were on the field to take every decision and which was accepted? We have complicated the issue. Last quick thing I would like to tell you about this, sir. Tell me, ICC wants to make cricket a global sport. It would. It should be made a global sport. We would have been. I mean, all of us would have been very happy. But yeah. what are you? Make things simpler. If you remember, Nikhil Bhai and Alfaz Bhai, what was the earlier rule? That if there was a stoppage due to rain for one hour, what you did? Three minutes per over, you finish and set up a target. Initially, it started. If you lose less number of wickets, and if the total is, then you uh, win. Then it became the target was set like this. Anybody not knowing much will under set his target sitting in the in the stadium. Sir, I am a illiterate person. This this Lewis method, Duckworth and Lewis method, I don't understand it. So you have complicated the game by introducing this thing by. those simple methods everybody sitting on the on the ground could make out a target before you could announce so why are you complicating the game 
last thing i want to say i think see why cricket is not a olympic discipline the biggest platform for sportsmen of the world is not world oh, cup cricket but olympic discipline now what is the problem icc is at the richest body if they join ioc international olympic committee they become a subservient to ioc and the rich tally which they have they will have to share with ioc that is number one so here the question of ego between icc and e and ioc is not enabling cricket to become a global sport i would like to tell you there is a provision if a country becomes a a, a sport discipline becomes the olympic sport not only the ioc but even the governments give them a grant it is mandatory but if you are remain a part of the icc you don't get a grant now tell me i am doing lot of things i am promoting cricket through wisdom in bhutan in uh, uh, in malaysia singapore in uh, brunei in hawaii and all these places now these people are aspiring to be now even the associate membership they they are, they are not getting so much grant as they were getting if they become cricket becomes an olympic discipline they will get lot of money from their governments also so that they will be able to put infrastructure into their cricket so that is what i want now for me the question of alfaz bhai yeah alfaz bhai there is a saying that advice unsolicited <laughs> should never be tendered <laughs> 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 as a teacher sir 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 uh, 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 30 seconds before you, you start to answering this particular question uh, what sorts of qualities and criteria or ability or uh, qualities should have to become a good commentator <laughs> i my personal opinion or feelings right now after spending 80 minutes of this particular show our senior citizens and participants uh, guests become more well set it looks well set right now they can speak much more minutes <laughs> like a test batsman anyway start your answer i, I, I have no time to... limitations please go ahead no, no. alfaz bhai you have another opportunity of around the last slot nikhil da also <laughs> having another slot no problem carry on Uh, it was more a, a sort of a joke <clears throat> no no but i tell you even petrol classes what i will i used to do to tell the students and i was said do like this i said can we do like this so <laughs> i mean over the years initially i never used all that but in the last 10 years of my teaching uh, like before i retired in 2002 this is how it 10 years in a decade before retiring i, I mellowed down and brought my myself to this anyway i have to answer the question so i'm trying to answer i think it is more for me i will from my experience i am telling you i, I it's yeah. not mandated yeah. that everybody should have it my background was that from my childhood i listened to bbc and abc nikhil dai you will be surprised to know and i am sure you might have also experienced that i know i know i know abc was not easy you have to hold the knob of the big radio that we you, you have to have <laughs> sometimes it just it goes off and then alan mcgar reads off so you have to hold it on like this and the australian english is very difficult you see yeah. you can still follow because britishers were in india so we are listening to them but australian especially alan mcgar oh he was like a fire so <laughs> so difficult so imagine how much of pains we have taken to listen to this comment yeah now so we learned one thing that i learned when i went before my that what was going on in bbc commentary what was going on in abc commentary the requirement of a commentary i knew very well the first and the foremost thing is the language their command over the language and not only the command over the language you should be able to play with the language 
I'll give you an example. John Allett was describing, Alan Lamb was playing, and he played a shot. So he said, Lamb chops, but makes a lamb chop out of it. <laughs> no, this is the nuances of a language. <laughs> if a batsman made a stroke, his shoulder is pointing towards this side, but the ball goes to gully, then I'll say, kahi pe nigahe, kahi pe nishana. This is where you should be able to play with their language and that will touch the heart of the people. So therefore, the most important component of the commentary is the language and the nuances of the language. Last but not the least, but the foremost. If some level of cricket you have played, whether it is a club, whether school, college, anywhere, you will be able to understand the finer points of the game. These days when the test cricketers say that, uh, well, the ball bummed up because he used his shoulder, I know it. Because I have also played so, the club level of cricket, so we know it. If you use your shoulder more, the ball will bump. If you look at the finger, you can, I mean, at the wrist, you can find out. If it is going like this, it will be electric. If you like this, it will be a Google. So we know it. So we don't have to. So the, basically, if you have played, uh, any commentator who's commentating, you listen to his commentary, you'll be able to find out whether he, he really has played little level of cricket or not. That is very important. The other thing is homework. Sir, what is homework? Not only the statistics. My Almira is full. Those days there was no statistician in the commentary box. We used to do our own statistics, carry it with us. And then other thing. Something homework, not only of statistics, about that venue, about that city. Say, for example, I was commentating in uh, Nagpur, early days, Sri Lanka was an official, uh, uh, I mean, uh, they were associate member of ICC. So it was an official test. There was a statue of CK Naidu at the back of the commentary box, and there was a cathedral. Now, I had done my homework. So I immediately said, in the world, there are, I didn't know, Two other test centers where there is a cathedral very near the test venue, right at the back of the test venue. That is Worcestershire in England and Adelaide in Australia. Then I told Mr. N.K.P. Salve, who was the board president, I said, sir, the first India's captain, that's at the, the statue of the first captain of India is at the back. For heaven's sake, that we in the commentary box should call it second I do end. Now, we people forget our own fraternity. We people forget our own people. I think when we start commentary, sometimes we should remember our great commentators also, whether it's Omar Qureshi, uh, Pearson Sunita, Peri Sarbadikari, Maharaj Kumar of Vijayanagaram. These people are also great souls. We should sometimes remember them. So, the entire package of commentary is very comprehensive, like a professor going to your class, well prepared. Not here that you should be well prepared with the question that could be answered by a student any time you should be prepared for this lot of preparation about the ground about the weather even the weather those days these days the weather comes on there at eight o'clock before leaving the room i used to ring up i used to get one day beforehand the number of the weather office the person whom i could talk i'll ask him what is the forecast for the weather so when I go, I tell about the weather also. This Because this I had learned from ACC, ABC and also from BBC. So this, this is a bigger packet of a commentator. It is not just going and talking. Last thing. Sir, Nikhilda, Afaz Bhai, Samshir Bhai. Listening. You understand one thing. We are not a commentator. We are storytellers. Let us not be, let us be a guest in the drawing room of a listener or a viewer. Not a charger. Let us be accepted there. So if we, so let us do storytelling. Commentary should be a storytelling. Ek story dharka, ek story udharka. 
उसके ऊपर कोई मसाला लगा दिया फिर उसके ऊपर मिर्च डाल दिया दिस इज हाउ द कंट्री इज अ बिग पैकेट वो सिर्फ ये ये नहीं है लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स मेमोरी मैं बहुत छोटा आदमी हूँ लेकिन बहुत ज्यादा बोल जाता हूँ क्योंकि टीचर हूँ ना तो आप लोग मिल गए तो बहुत रिटायर्ड हूँ तो ये क्या लेक्चर दे दो थैंक यू Thank you very much. We are enjoying. Alpaz bhai, okay. uh, I want to conclude this. I have to answer my question. Uh, India Pakistan test. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Look here. As the panel here also well actually said, the competition always brings out the best. Two very competitive teams are Pakistan and India, and particularly when they play amongst themselves. This is a very big. and let me also say sports at times maybe people outside are so much xenophobic that they think that no my country will win but if you look at the larger perspective the larger context i think there is a bigger thing which can bring the two countries together there the bitterness goes away and there is a very and because then lot of people will come here to watch lot of people go there to watch you know see I have very good relation. When I did my book on legendary cricket, I was very anxious that this book must reach Mohammad Nasir's family. And Pakistan High Commissioner was good enough that he was sent it. Uh, Wakar Alfaz, uh, this uh, is our son. He came to Delhi for shopping of his daughter's wedding, and he was with me for a, a dinner. He brought me very unique pictures of uh, Nasir Sir. and he said ravi ji aap isko you can use it at any time for my he said what you wrote about my father because my father had come to pakistan i thought nobody would write such a thing i told him look here whatever you may think i still regard that one of the best fastest bowler india ever has produced is mohammad nisar i'll give you an example yes. in a very short time that he played 26 wickets sir please go to the analysis maximum of them are either bold or lbw this was the degree of penetration of mohammad nisar and he never bowled a bouncer never never bowled a bouncer last thing you know the strike rate his strike rate is as good as bakar yunus welcome marshal it is the degree of penetration the degree of success of mohammad nisar that's why i called him the greatest fast bowler ever produced by india india thank you thank you so much uh alfaz bhai i will come to you at the end before you i am going to nikhil da anything to add at the end nikhil da only thing a great salute to dr chaturvedi so we have learned we have learned many things from you today especially yeah, me yeah yeah thank you alfaz bhai thank you alfaz bhai please conclude the show today from your valuable speech well well uh, i i would like to start thanking shamsul first thank you shamsul <laughs> once again <laughs> once again yeah. for hosting this show and bringing us together and uh, making dr ravi chaturvedi available on the screen and uh, i am not satisfied you know i want to spend a whole day listening to dr chaturvedi <laughs> at least so i want him to come here personally spend the whole day here maybe this is a break for tea or coffee and uh, we spend 30 minutes there talking uh, gossiping there come back again and then again i have a, have a, have him just on the stage and go on discussing and there are so many questions still coming into my mind put on all those questions to him and i know my 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 co listeners my young listeners particularly when they will be behind me will be whispering in my uh, my ears uh, a question uh, put in this question ask in this question so i want that kind of a, a situation created here in bangladesh very soon i, I almost arranged it it was he was almost ready i was looking for his accommodation i was i was trying to put him up either in uttara club or in a, a hotel small hotel i mean the resorts in gulshan uh, so uh, the, i was arranging that and why that suddenly this thing happened and we had to cancel everything 
let's hope that uh, we, we get back soon well and uh, we, we, we have him here among us and that will be a very, very big opportunity for all of us. And then I would like to tell my uh, co-listeners, the young aspirant commentators, what Mr. Ravi Shastri has told. He has told that a commentator is a storyteller who must have enriched himself enough with the own language first, then the about the game second, and then the other decorations that you, that you want to make. You must be able to play with your own language first. I again repeat, it's the word play. Play means you will have so many so many words to uh, put and uh, stretch the uh, stretch the narration, stretch the uh, uh, storytelling. So that is how that that is the kind of quality that you must acquire. And to acquire that thing, you know better than me. What are the things that you have to do? You have to be more. Uh, you have homeworks. You have to. Uh, listen to this kind of gentleman more frequently, try to get to the, into their profiles and let, see what they have done and how they are uh, such a great personality now. I think only then uh, you will soon become a very good storyteller and a very successful commentator. That's for them and for the others. If anybody in the cricket board is listening to this thing, this thing, or it reaches to them, I would I tell them or request them that we love Bangladesh cricket. We have got a fanatism for the growth of Bangladesh cricket. We want that Bangladesh should run equally fast with Sri Lanka, India, and Pakistan. We being the uh, subcontinent citizens, we don't want to fall behind. We, after us, Afghanistan is also coming very fast. We don't want them. We don't want to allow them to take over us and go ahead of us. So let us improve the infrastructures the pitches, the shape of the tournaments, the playing frequencies, the 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 financial uh, uh, area security, of the coverage, security, uh, security uh, uh, enlarged, and uh, look after the development of the women cricket also, and also get back to the basics like uh, implementing the inter-school cricket, inter-college cricket, inter-district cricket, inter-university cricket. I think if we can once revamp and restart. There won't be any dearth of players, and there won't be any dearth of quality. Local uh, local coaches should be also taken into account, and they should be also improved, and their help should be there. And then the overall cricket of Bangladesh can definitely grow very fast. I am very confident it can grow much more faster than any other countries because we have we are already in cricket. We are already in the subcontinent. And we are already doing it. So just improve it. Thank you, Samsul. Thank you, Dr. Ravi Chaturvedi. I once again like to say we are very small in front of you. But no, no, sir, no, sir. thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with us, telling us something. And hope to see you and learn many more things from you in future. Before we physically meet, we must arrange such kind of uh, gathering. Um, more frequently than the previous one. Anyway, Nikhilda, you no, have to. I would like add to say something? one word. Excuse me. Uh, I, like I, I will just take. I will just take thirty seconds. Okay. okay. First of all, I extend my invitation to Dr. Rupi Chaturvedi. Whenever you are in Chittagan, just give me a call. Thank you. Sir, Whenever you are in Chittagang or Bangladesh, I'll give not, me a call. Sir, sir, sir I'm not very sure about it. We'll go together. Sir, we'll we'll go together. I'm very eagerly okay. looking forward to that. And next we'll is, go together. Uh, next is, uh, I always mention that I have got a mentor, late Bodhruda Chaudhuri. He used to tell me one thing, that uh, if you want to be a good commentator, listen to your own commentary. Get it taped. Hear it, try to correct it, and then go ahead. Because this is your voice, which is bringing the match to a, to a listener. This is not your eyes that uh, they, this is bringing the match to the listeners. So I always remember it. Thank you once again, Dr. Chaturvedi. It was nice meeting you today. And I hope whenever we are in India, I will definitely try to go and meet you. Thank you, sir. Last word, I will say. Please, carry on. What we have to do is, through our word, I'm talking of the radio, through our word, we have to create a picture in the mind of the listener. Yes. That is the last part of the story. 
it is our words which should create a picture in the mind of the listener that's it thank you very much thank you thank you dr ravi chaturvedi thank you alfajuddin ahmed and thank you nikhil ranjan das of course being a uh, host i will conclude the show with some words quoted from dr ravi chaturvedi uh, on his honor today finally he tells some tips for the upcoming commentators since we all commentators though we talking about cricket culture today uh, naturally cricket commentary being involved with these sort of topics anyway and he mentioned a uh, few things with colorful words or with bold faces like command over the language play with language and use the correct language i mean vocabulary properly in the place of right time some level of cricket knowledge must have acquired homework an extensive one not a limited one an extensive homework he mentioned and another thing he mentioned that feel and remember your legends your gurus that you can serving like them or even better than them try to collect few others information including weather forecast and finally become a storyteller and create a picture of the ground towards your audiences and listeners that's it from my side today thank you very much gentlemen once again for your kind presence of this particular show hope dear viewers you enjoyed a lot it was a long marathon show indeed on hour and 41 minutes altogether 100 minutes crossed it is i, I think uh, i must say it is the longest show of mine thank you once again take care of yourself bye bye thank you, thank you.